Hello everyone, this talk is about Illustrator, a graphical design tool for quickly creating mid-ear ultrasound haptic patterns and exploring the design space for this technology. I'm Hester Seyfried from Arizona State University, and this project is done in collaboration with the University of Copenhagen and Australia. You may be familiar with contact-based tablets. These include technologies such as grounded force feedback devices and exoskeletons, barbitactal actuators, and surface haptics. In the last decade, we have new forms of contactless haptic technologies. These technologies can stimulate human touch from a distance without direct contact with the device. There is ongoing research on different forms of these technologies, but a prominent example of these technologies are mid-air ultrasound haptic devices. This is the focus of my talk. With this technology, you have an array of ultrasound transducers. You can turn them on and off at a really high rate, around 40 kHz, to create a focal point on the user's hand. This focal point creates subtle skin vibrations, which is felt as a pressure point to the user. The nice thing is that you can move this focal point around um, in a 3D space to create a variety of spatial temporal patterns. This is an example of a commercial ultrasound device that we used in our work. The device has a 16 by 16 array of ultrasound transducers with integrated hand tracking from UltraD. The user can feel the ultrasound patterns approximately 20 centimeters above the device, and there is a 3D workspace in which you can move the focal point. This technology has a larger design space than wide tactile technology because of the fast update rate. Designers can quickly move the focal point so that the pattern feels like a static shape on your hand, or they can move it slowly so that it feels like a moving point. The frequency range for this technology is also much larger than fiber tactile actuators. And as I mentioned, you can move the focal point in a 3D space. You can also adapt the haptic pattern to the user's movement um, so that um, the pattern follows the user's hand, uh, or you can have the pattern at its position above the alley. So this is all great we can, because it can open new design possibilities. But at the same time, exploring this design space is really challenging. A talk about Illustrator, um, it's a design tool that aims to lower the entry threshold for designing with ultrasound technology, and at the same, uh, and at the same time provide control and power to experienced designers. I'll briefly mention two requirements for in from interviews with 13 ultrasound designers. And finally, I'll point to the results of our user evaluation with 15 lay users and experienced designers. So to understand the current practices with the technology, we started by doing interviews with ultrasound designers. We had online interviews with 13 designers with a range of experience from four months. So these are people who are novices in the technology, as well as designers with years of experience. During the interview, the designers described one recent project, and we asked them about how they went about designing the patterns, what challenges they faced, and what tools they used. We used thematic analysis following Braun and Park's approach, um, which resulted in two teams and a set of tool requirements. So from our analysis, the first theme is about the design space of ultrasound technology, which is large and complex, and it has many unknowns compared to contact haptics, haptic technologies. All designers mentioned that this technology has a steep learning curve, and they had to learn many physics concepts and parameters for the technology. At the same time, these parameters have complex interactions. So for example, the speed of moving the focal point, the size of the pattern, and the shape of the pattern all interact with each other and impact user perception. The intensity of ultrasound stimuli is weak, and designers needed to do extensive trial and error to design perceptually salient patterns. So with all these complexity, Existing tools also limited design exploration. All of the designers in our study had to program the ultrasound stimuli, and they engaged in one or other form of scripting the patterns. 
Many of them, including experts, mentioned abandoning their design ideas because of the difficulty of implementing them. Also interestingly, debugging ultrasound patterns was a challenge because of the weak in intensity of the patterns and also the programming that was involved. So to help the debugging, some designers created either aesthetic or dynamic visualizations of the ultrasound focal point for themselves. Based on these interviews, uh, we identified 12 requirements for ultrasound design tools. And I won't be able to go through all of these, but some examples are about positioning the pattern as well as layering and sequencing the pattern to create more complex stimuli. Based on these interviews, we created Philustrator. The tool um, has a canvas for creating a spatial nodes and as well as a pass, which is then used to render the ultrasound pattern. Designers can sequence and layer multiple patterns to quickly create complex effects. This is an example of a novice designer using Philustrator. So this designer clicks on different parts of the canvas um, to create the nodes and paths and place the ultrasound rendering. They can change the pattern at the same time as they feel the rendering, and in this way they can understand the relationship between what they see and visually and what they feel. We have a set of example design scenarios to show the power of Illustrator. In this example, the designer wants to create a pattern for a virtual reality scene. The designer can quickly create a spatial pattern on the canvas. Then uh, they use the parameters tab to create another ultrasound pattern, which we call a brush, and overlay this pattern over the spatial pass. They change the parameters of the ultrasound nodes, and then they pulsate the intensity of ultrasound over these nodes. So very quickly, they can create an interesting ultrasound effect. The ultrasound patterns can be saved as a human readable JSON file, as we can see in this example. And then they can be imported in a Unity project. So then the designer can add the pattern to their VR environment and they can preview the pattern both visually and also through uh, the device haptically. We did an evaluation study with five lay users and 10 experienced designers. We gave the, participant a set of, the participants a set of design prompts, and then they used Illustrator to create a haptic pattern for each prompt. So based on the results of this study, uh, all participants found Illustrator easy to use and useful for rapid prototyping. They created a variety of design patterns for the design prompts, which shows the power of the tool. And both lay users and experienced designers had spontaneous comments about human ultrasound perception during their interaction with the tool. So overall, the results show that this tool lowers the design barrier for novices and at the same time provides enough control for experienced designers. These are some example patterns that we created with Illustrator. And the possibilities are endless. Thanks for listening to this talk. I look forward to answering your questions at the conference.